Indusaw is India's one of the largest manufacturing company in educational science lab equipments. It has a wide range of equipment for making science learning fun. Ray Optics Kit provides a unique way to study the basic principles of light rays and its properties such as reflection, refraction, and various combinations of different colors of light ray. In this picture AC or DC power supply 2 to 12 volt with its power cord is shown. We can access 2 to 12 volt AC as well as DC from its respective terminals. It draws 5 ampere current from any one terminal AC or DC at time. Power cord is used for connection of power supply with 220 volt mains power supply. In this picture ray box is shown from both top view and bottom view. From bottom view its internal structure can be clear. One side consists of bulb emitter for light and three output paths. Other side consists of condenser lens and having one output path. Ray box having two LEDs one red and one black for connection with AC DC 2 to 12 volt 5 amp power supply. There will be two side mirrors. Apart from those, three light stoppers are also provided. Slot IF and circular disc with angular scale is also provided. Other optical components include color filters, lenses, and mirrors. Magnetic board along with stand is also provided. An instruction manual is also provided. In the first experiment, we will study the propagation of light. Take a four size paper on board as shown in figure. Draw two perpendicular lines on paper as shown so that they intersect at the middle of the paper. Perpendicular lines are as in diagram and label the intersection point of these two lines as point K. Perpendicular lines are as in diagram and label the intersection point of these two lines as point K. Connect the ray box with power supply as shown all connection should be tight. Placement of light ray box should as in figure switch on the power supply and see the light path carefully. Now close the all lighting path of ray box instead of front as shown. First insert one light blocker at one side of the ray box, then other all paths. Now place the cross signs on the path of light ray from ray box front end, as shown in figure. Join the cross sign and output diagram is made as shown. Place the light ray box on A4 paper with single slit, as shown. Now adjust the ray box in such a way that ray from single slit passes along the optical axis. Place the ray box at point K with condenser lens side toward K. Replace the light stopper by multiple slit. Now switch on the power supply. Place crosses at the path of light rays as shown. Join the cross signs and output diagram showing the path of light. That is light rays are always travels in straight lines. If during the experiment power supply is cut off, then switch off the power supply. Wait for 2 minutes and then press the reset button. Next experiment is to study law of reflection. Take a 4 size paper on board as shown. Draw two perpendicular lines on paper as shown so that they intersect at the middle of the paper and label the intersection point of these two lines as point K. Perpendicular lines are as in diagram. Now draw different angles 15, 30, 45, 60 degree at intersection of perpendicular lines. Place plane mirror in such a way that single ray along optical axis return back to its path after striking through surface of mirror, as shown. Now place the ray box in such a way with a single slit so that the ray passes along 15 degree line. Now mark cross signs on its reflected path and join them as shown. Measure its angle. It is actually same as incidence angle, that is 15 degree. Similarly we can mark the reflected ray for each incidence angle. We find 
that each reflected angle is equal to its corresponding incidence angle, as shown. This is known as law of reflection. Similar law can be verified by using a angular marking edge circular disk. Place plane mirror in such a way that single ray along optical axis return back to its path after striking through surface of mirror, as shown. Now place the ray box in such a way so that the ray passes at an angle from optical axis, as shown. We find that reflected angle is same as incidence angle. Next experiment is to study reflection by spherical mirrors. Place a ray for sheet and mark optical axis on it as shown. Also mark the position of the ray box. Now place ray box with single slit in such a way that ray of light from single slit passes along optical axis. Mark the position of mirror as S at a distance 10 cm away from ray box. Place the mirror in such a way so that the ray from single slit along optical axis return back to its path after striking through surface of mirror, as shown. Now change single slit by multiple slit and observe that the rays are reflected after striking through surface and meet at single point known as focus, F, as shown. Mark two cross sign on path of ray and join them to show focus point. Take a point R such that RF equals to RS and mark its position as shown in figure. Now place the ray box off the optical axis in such a way that ray passes through point R. We find that reflected path of light is same as the incidence path. Output result can be shown by drawing ray path by red color. Now place the ray box off the optical axis in such a way that ray passes through point F. We find that reflected path of light is parallel to the optical axis. Output result can be shown by drawing ray path from green color. Now place the ray box off the optical axis in such a way that ray passes through point as we find that reflected angle is equal to incidence angle. Output result can be shown by drawing ray path from blue color, as shown. Now place the ray box off the optical axis in such a way that ray passes parallel to optical axis. We find that reflected path of light is passing through focus, F. Now overall output can be shown by given diagram. The illumination of the bulb proves that a change in magnetic field will have the effect of an induced electric field which will, in turn, generate an electric current in the coil. Since the intensity of the illuminating bulb is strongest at the middle of the solenoid, so we can say that the rate of change of magnetic flux is strongest there.